Greetings to my team of 144, all starseeds, love workers, and way shores. It is 1142019, November 4th, 2019. What an interesting and strange day indeed. Some massive waves were coming in today with this Mercury retrograde. The Schumann was low today at about 15 hertz, lower than it's been, but many... Extreme events manifest in this realm again, and there are many timeline jumps. Let us know in the comments what you experienced as these timelines jumped, merged, overlapped. We had over 108 earthquakes in the past 24 hours. A couple big ones today. The biggest one was in Tonga, which was a 6.6, .6, and then in Chile, South America, a 6.0. What's very interesting, both of these were very close to the Tropic of Capricorn and the sun on the solstice on 1221 rises exactly on the Tropic of Capricorn for three days and then on the fifth day, or I mean the fourth, you know, four days, which will be the 25th, the sun moves one degree north and Tonga is over close to closer to australia and new zealand and oceania so we got chile and tonga and 108 there were multiple earthquakes in tonga and chile today which both of those fall along the ring of fire but in the southern part of the ring close to the tropic of capricorn and there were also several in the north by the tropic of cancer also in 4.5 in Mariana Islands, not too far from the Tropic of Cancer. And then what do we got here? Puerto Rico had a 3.1, which is also close to the Tropic of Cancer. So both extremes. And then in Africa, many wildfires, hundreds of wildfires along in the Congo. And then a massive flood in Somalia. Somalia had... The massive flooding, over 270,000 people displaced today. So these are just signs of these massive shifts going on as consciousness is shifting. It's affecting this realm, affecting nature. So our prayers go out to all beings that are suffering because of these big changes. But what is going to come out of this suffering and shifting is paradise on earth. It is the golden age or what we call New Earth, New Eden. Now what I was thinking today when I had a major timeline shift, it's happened several times over the years where in that moment it took me to the timeline where it was a moment in the past in this realm when it might have been a beautiful day, when things were in harmony. When I was a child, there was a, a day on a place called Buckeye Lake where the weather was perfect, everything was in alignment, I was totally in the flow. And those are anchor points. Many of you, I'm sure, have experienced that. Let us know in the comments where you actually lived out a whole timeline in that place, whatever it was in that moment, that day, that minute, that hour, or week, whatever. The time is irrelevant. It's kind of like when you have a lucid dream, and the dream may be an hour or two, but you live out a whole timeline in that dream. Or you go to a dream and it's like going home. Feels like home. Like you had been there. A place of great beauty. A, a place of great wonder. This happened many, many times throughout this story. Throughout this timeline that we are living out here. And I'm sure it's happened to many of you. Where it is like a dream within a dream. And today... With many shifts going on, Gaia and the Great Spirit transmitted spider medicine to me. And there are many shifts left and right, up and down today. As I walked in the freezing cold waters of the sacred river and in the woods, as I was on my knees connecting with the deer medicine as she and I met eyes and became one. When you get that little moment in time where all is in perfect harmony and great beauty, great truth, and that pure awareness 
when you know we are the flow, we are the energy, we are all one in unity consciousness, no separation. And many of you have seen several have watched the silver trigger I put out today, which is about the 1111 gateway portal. And from the Earth Alliance and the Pleiadian Collective, they have transmitted this to human consciousness to help accelerate freeing humanity from the debt slavery system. Now, many, se several people misunderstood this. It's funny, I could, it was called the silver trigger. And multiple people were triggered by that video and took it as a negative connotation and unsubscribed from my channel and left negative comments. And that's okay. You know, I knew that would happen. <laughs> you can't please everyone. But the meditation will be on when Mercury goes transit, where it passes in front of the sun, and it's going to be very close to the center of the sun. I think it's around 7.30 a.m. Eastern time, where there will be a global meditation, a universal meditation on the silver, what's being called the silver trigger. Now, some people were triggered by us saying to purchase pure silver on that day with the intent of freeing humanity. See, people, if they misunderstood that transmission. They, it's because they don't understand the power of precious metals. They might know, like, the power of crystals and this and that, but th there's a reason why the alchemists worked with the precious metals, the ancient Gnostics and the alchemists and the native peoples from all the ancient cultures worked with gold and silver. Gold representing the divine masculine, the sun, and silver, the divine feminine, the goddess of the moon. And these energies are connected to these metals. And in Chinese Taoist philosophies, it follows that same concepts of yin being the silver, yang the gold, or transmuting lead to gold. And there's silver dragon, there's gold dragon. And there's a connection to that energy. That it's a frequency that the precious metals give off. That's why it meant something. And it's not the, the precious metals that enslave humanity. If anything, there's a probability that with the backing of precious metals, it will assist humanity to free them from the debt slavery system, what we call the Babylonian debt slavery system. It's, it's the fiat currency, the, the currency that has no intrinsic value at all that has enslaved humanity. And then this whole fake system now of currency just being ones and zeros on a computer fully in the matrix, which is being controlled and manipulated by the cabal, the elite, the whatever name you want to give to these royal families, these 13 bloodlines that have controlled the monetary systems for many, many years now and, and twisted it to their benefit that caused an imbalance. So the natural harmony will be to bring back the value of currency that's backed by something of value. That fiat means it has no intrinsic value. It's not worth the paper it's printed on. But regardless of that, I was just clarifying because I'm seeing some of the comments that were left. I wanted to clarify a couple things on that. So I may be doing a live stream during the Mercury transit. I'm not sure yet. I'll let you know before that date. But I have the meditation in the, the Silver Trigger video that I released earlier today. So you can check that out. We're going to begin today's transmission from very peculiar. I just had another timeline jumped. Oh yeah, here we go, brothers and sisters of the light. Your transformation, your quantum awakening from Laura Pleiadian. Divine Sister of the Light, the cosmic light that exists streaming through all timelines, all dimensions, is something at the higher levels of your consciousness. You understand and know. Your subconscious mind, your inner computer, is aware also of your connection with this you as light. Hidden aspects within the subconscious mind that may appear as negative are used as learning devices of experience for your expansion. The equal and opposite always exists. 
Your blueprint, like a computer, receives shifts and downloads of light, higher frequency shifts, as you are ready to receive. Quantum shifts are shifts in consciousness, where your consciousness shifts to that of a higher frequency dimension. Letting go of the demands of the third and fourth dimension are part of opening up to the glory of you that knows itself as part of all the dimensions all at once. Focusing on the you that is light, the angelic you, allows you and your form to resonate with the higher dimensions. Letting go, focusing, allowing, and attuning may feel like a lot to do at once, yet at the higher dimensions you are doing this. Observing the demands of your body, yet also allowing the consciousness that flows through you to be that of your angelic higher self is what catapults you into your quantum shift of consciousness, your exist existing in a new timeline. The rules that govern your awareness are simply that of expansion. The idea of a limitation is a frequency that desires an expansion. Maneuvering through these frequency realms reveals the truth of what consciousness is, what frequency is, what you are. The choice of experience is simply that there are no right or wrongs within your higher divine self. Attuning to this divine light while observing the form and its demand allows your higher self reign in a world that is bursting with light energy and is ready for its quantum shift. Of course, there are many worlds, many timelines existing in the world that is now ready fully to arrive in a completely new experience of itself is a choice that for most may feel predestined by your soul. This destiny feels comfortable with you because you know it all well. You exist in all of them. All choices exist now. The reprogramming of your consciousness is an absolute testimony to the power of the divine and its ability to shift and change into any experiences that already do exist now, as this light does flow through all dimensions. So for now, take a few slow deep breaths. Allow your consciousness to merge with this light activation as you awaken the stream of light into your consciousness as that which is now present in your awareness with you. And you can repeat these words or just put your awareness in your heart center, in the center of your chest. You can see a divine emerald green, a sacred violet, magenta, whatever you feel in that center now. I am now flooded with the light of my eternal self that pours through all dimensions now. I choose to observe the form and allow it to shift into the higher dimensions that I am consciously ready to experience. I feel and breathe into this light as the mana of life that I am now. I am this light. I exist in all dimensions. I am here for the experience of this quantum shift, revealing the power of the divine of light, of consciousness now. The matter that is my form shifts. I live as light. I breathe as light. I am this light. I am divine. And so it is. Receive. Integrate. Feel how this feels. I love you. Eternal love and bliss. And you could sit with that feeling. Pause this video. If you want to let that energy, that love, that light, that bliss penetrate every cell, every atom your full awareness, your full consciousness, as you transmit this out from your sacred vessel, your sacred temple, your rainbow bridge, your Merkaba field, transmit it out into this realm, here and now, into eternity, forevermore, beloved. And the next transmission from Meg Benedict, 1111 Mastership Gateway, it only happens once a year when the 1111 gateway opens to higher ascended realms. In numerology, 11 signifies mastership level representing divine knowing, intuition, yin yang's sacred union and enlightenment. As you connect to the 1111 gateway, you are becoming master of your own destiny, developing more soul embodiment and inner guidance. On November 11th, the 1111 Stargate creates a powerful threshold point that propels you into the next phase of soul mastery. As you pass through the Cosmic Gateway, you experience a rare moment of intense clarity and connection with your own divinity. 1111 is a sacred ascension code that activates the neural network in the brain to open to higher dimensions of spirit. 1111 acts as a circuit connection for multidimensional electrical current to download into the human and planetary grid system. 1111 symbolizes the circuit connection between self and others, between yin and yang, between human and soul. 
It is the unifier and equalizer. 1111 initiates more balance and equality in the world. When you are touched by the 1111 Ascension Codes, you are awakening to the Master of Light that you are. Number 11 also represents two pillars, a gateway, which opens a direct portal between the third dimension to the fifth dimension and beyond. 1111 code sequences activate rapid transformation wherever you focus your attention and intentions. As a powerful seed moment for birthing your personal ascension life in the planetary 5D field of unity consciousness. The celestial stargates provide massive threshold transitions into ascending timelines of divine enlightenment. During peak stargate infusions, you open to crystalline light upgrades, quantum DNA activations, and rapid evolution. Now you can join other light workers, grid workers, and star beings from around the world on the 11th for the 1111 Gateway Global Activations. Breathe in celestial light, increase your body's super radiance, and transform your personal and planetary reality. And you can join Meg, Benedict, and guests on NewEarthCentral.com. And from Victory of the Light, transmission from Solar Portal, channeled by Tiona, T-I-O-N-A. Transmission from Solar Portal, pioneers who are witnessing transmittal of 12th dimensional light spectrums on February 2020 when you will see the peak of the event then everyone will have the ability to see these lights as well but now those crystallized earth bodies that are receiving this message will be moving diamonds which consciously receive amplify and expand these lights within their environment where they live this is your mission Transition of carbon bodies to crystallized bodies is a process that occurs on Earth during designed continuous meditations for receiving as well as refraction and expansion of it. It here, mean, here means the light. Congratulations to those pioneers who understand this. We love you. Godspeed. Saha on behalf of Solar Portal People. From Victory of Light 1111. Dot blogspot.com and from elizabeth peru today to all in our cosmic community who've recently woken up to their spiritual reality i'm so glad to meet you and eternally honored and happy that you are here among solid guidance and supportive energies of light your remembrance of who you are as a soul and energy being experiencing humanity within a physical reality is everything I can remember when I first woke up feeling overwhelmingly excited with the knowledge that I was actually in charge of my destiny each day and that life didn't happen to me, but I had a full hand in creating this. This is from ElizabethPeru.com. Cosmic Human, have you just woken up? And today from the Zolkin Times, Blue Spectral Eagle. Spectral is the name for the number 11, and its key words are liberate, dissolve, and release. Today is the last portal day, the 10th one in a row. It's been quite a ride, but today we release. The 11th day is always the challenge to the wave spell. We're in the red serpent wave spell, and eagle is the opposite of serpent. In a sense, the 11th day liberates us from the 13-day journey we've been on, which is much needed respite. Today is blue eagle, which represents creativity, vision, and mind. The eagle sees the bigger picture, and with these vision, he finds creative solutions to the issues he has seen from up high. As it is a number 11 day, we are liberated by creativity or released by visions. Creative endeavors have been a struggle lately as the eagle has been this wave spell's challenge. If you are an eagle or it is your guide or cult, you would have been having a tougher time than most. But for everybody, today is a great day to get creative and feel free, fly high, and hopefully have some visions. The guide today is also Blue Eagle, and so a double helping of eagle medicine. From Christina Papagiorgio, Blue Spectral Eagle, Kin 115, 4th of November, 2019, 4-11-3. Equal 9. 4. Foundation, Structure, Earth. 11. Portal, Doorway. 9. Divine Service, Compassion, Closure, Humanitarian. Kin 115 equals 7. Mystic, Magic, Spiritual, Solitude. Day 10, Gap Day. The last gap day in this column. We made it out of the dark tunnel. Ah, breathe in that fresh air. Another magically special day. 
Today, day 11 in the Red Serpent Wave Spell of Survival Instinct, Kundalini Rising, Life Force Passion, and Rapid Transformation through Shedding Our Old Skin. Today we release all the life force we have built up, expanding into the future with our far-seeing inner vision. Today we are liberating our greatest vision. The tone of creation, spectral is the eleventh tone of creation. It operates in the emotional realm and its actions are that of dissolving, releasing, and liberating. This is a very powerful opportunity to release the past and move forward. Fearlessly free from obstructions, the spectral action together with Simi and the nine and seven code of the day works to create closure, dissolving all impediments to you, finally claiming your true power, and then allowing the love, peace, and abundance to flow. We have a double eleven code today, the month code and the tone eleven. This symbolizes a double gateway and polarity inviting you to step through into a new world. The gates have swung wide open today. Today's question is, what greater vision am I liberating and releasing into the world in order to seed a better future? And yes, brothers and sisters, we are the star seeds. We are planting the seeds of our love, our light, our truth into all beings we connect with, into all consciousness, into all realms, all timelines, as we merge all through the center. Kin 115, Blue Spectral Eagle, the mantra for the day, the code is, I dissolve in order to create, releasing mind, I seal the output of vision, with the spectral tone of liberation. I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. I am a galactic activation portal. Enter me, divine, divine blessings for the liberation and creation of your greatest vision. So brothers and sisters of the light, what is your vision? Let us know in the comments below what your vision is for the golden age, for the new earth, what you're feeling, what you're experiencing, what you're seeing, your, what your intuition is of these final days of the false old matrix as we navigate through these portals, through these gateways, the gateless gate. The door is fully open. It is up to you to take the power back and step fully through, step into your highest light, your highest love. The dolphin energy was just coming through. The sacred dolphins are connecting with us through your 5D crystalline light body. Feel your connection to the whales and the dolphins of the great oceans of the divine waters and feel their sacred sound penetrating through your central channel, through your rainbow bridge, through the trinity, through the seven chakras. I'd like to thank everyone for your support, for your kindness, and I'd like to thank all the light workers that have joined me on the mission for the Healing Retreat Center in Ecuador. You can learn more about this on primedisclosure.com and click on Dao de Ecuador at the top. Now this weekend on the 11 10 the 2 one, three, two, 13, which will be the 6 of Christ Consciousness, I will bring to you this Sunday the 2 one, three, the Divine 44, to transmit our collected, connected energy, our highest code, our highest light, our highest love to all of you around noon Eastern time. If the Great Spirit is willing, as I shift through these timelines, I have difficulty speaking congruently. So I plan on bringing our Divine Soul family to all starseeds, love workers, and way showers that come to this channel. If you're on Prime Disclosure, that's a backup channel. Subscribe to my main channel, which is Paul Butler. I had to create a backup because YouTube has shut down my channels in the past without warning. So to prepare if that ever happened again, I created the backup of Prime Disclosure. So some people are confused that if it's the same person or if it's two different people. But yeah, that's my backup channel. So be sure to subscribe if you're listening to this on Prime Disclosure channel on YouTube. The 111 just came through. Yes. So we are here together to assist all star seeds stationed in this realm now to bring in your highest light codes into the grid into the field into gaia the consciousness of mother earth 
into the ley lines and the portals where you are currently stationed. So this Sunday, the day before the 1111 portal, we will bring to you our highest codes and light to assist all that come to these channels, to assist you, divine light worker, love worker, warrior of light, to rise up, to activate, to speak fully from your heart center as we connect through this field, through these technologies, to assist all of you that have been waiting for these final missions of the old earth through this 1111 portal into the 121212, 12, 12, into the 20, the 1221, the final solstice of the false 3D matrix, the false matrix, the experiment as we wake up to the 5D divine matrix, divine consciousness through the 2020 portal, into the 1122020 code of divine La Matrica. So have a beautiful and blessed day, beloved beings of light. I love you all. Namaste.